Hi, I'm Byron Mason, here with Burndy, and welcome to Webisodes. In this short series, we want to teach you a little bit about the solar market, and I want to talk to you a little bit about the Wiley line of products. Now, some people might be familiar with solar in the sense of seeing modules installed on rooftops, or maybe even seeing it on the news. What we'd like to do is take you through some of the solar terminology so that you can get more familiar with the market. This is an array. This is a module, this is a module, and this is a module. These are the basic building blocks of an array. Now when sunlight strikes a module, a DC voltage is generated between the positive and negative leads of a module. This is an array. It's a number of solar modules that have been connected together to generate power from the sun. That power can then be used to power lights, appliances, industrial equipment, or stored for later use. Modules need to be supported when they're installed in the field. There's plenty of wind loading and snow loading to account for, and racking systems are what accomplish this. Now racking systems are basically just a structure made out of metal that support the modules and make sure they stay in place and oriented at the right angle towards the sun. Grounding is important for several reasons. First, it allows the array to detect and mitigate ground faults. Secondly, it prevents people from getting inadvertently shocked when they reach out and touch something that they think is not energized. If someone servicing an array goes out and touches a component that is not properly grounded, there's a chance that the current can flow from the array through the person and into the ground. They effectively become the ground path. There are several ways to prevent ground faults. One is to follow the industry best practices when installing solar modules. Another is to use proper wire management devices. These can be cable clips, cable trays, unit wraps, or the like. What wire management does is it prevents the cables from getting pinched between the solar modules and arrays and rails or other pieces of the structure. This could cause ground faults by breaking the insulation of the cable and letting current run through the racking system instead of through the conductors. The last major component of a solar power plant is the power electronics. This includes your DC to DC converter, microinverters, charge controllers, and inverters. What these components do is they take the DC current produced by the solar modules and turn it into AC current that's usable in residential and industrial applications. Charge controllers and battery banks can be used in off-grid applications to store electricity produced during the day for use at night. Now that we've talked about the major components of a solar system array, Let's take a moment to talk about the scale of applications. There's residential, commercial, and utility scale applications. These all depend on the power consumption needs. You'll typically see pitched roof mounts in residential scale applications, pole mounts in commercial scale applications, ballasted roof mounts in commercial scale applications, and ground mounts in the utility scale applications. Well, that about covers our brief introduction into the solar market and some of its key components. Join us next time and we'll talk a bit about grounding and the Burnley weave washer technology. I'm Byron Mason with Burnley, and we'll see you next time.